Well, today, it's been a rough couple days. We just had some motor issues in the old Biscayne, which is probably the last video we just watched, and it's, well, same day for me, so I'm still upset. And, uh, talking to Uncle Tony, and, and I mean, the, the world's ending, according to him, and uh, the camshaft, I mean, let's be honest, stuff's just wearing out. So, we're going to take this pile of junk Nova to storage and exchange it for the one-ton Chevy truck, which we have, which... It's been kind of, I got a record body in it or a record or whatever in the back of it. I want to get that dialed together. Winter's coming and I'm building like a Thunderdome end of the world vehicle out of this thing. It's going to be a wrecker on the back. We got to get that dialed together. I got a bunch of ideas. I got my snow plow for the front, regular cab, gas, four by four, one ton. We're getting ready for it. So that being said, this has to start. <laughs> so we'll see how that one goes. Maybe we'll just, we'll do it right now. This thing's been sitting in the same spot since Danny drove it and almost put it right into the 55. We gotta get some booster cables out of the truck. Okay. Contact. Come on, girl. Oh yeah, she'll go. <laughs> All right, we'll let her warm up a little bit, then we'll get on the road. All right, well, on the road, it's running good-ish. We're about halfway to the storage unit. So we might as well put away, like, the most reliable, best for stored car we have. And Are we going back for the 57? <laughs> Nice Kia. Battery cable splicer on this. Oh, that's some funny stuff I have going on there. Hot rodding. <laughs> Safety. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's go buy some stuff from Princess Auto. Look at that. Made it home with the old tow truck. Now, obviously we've had this, well, I think maybe I got it in the spring and didn't do anything with it. And now of course it's gonna be cold right away, so it's time to work outside. Um, this tow truck, tow truck, it's a slide-in wrecker. It's an old homes unit. It was meant exactly for this kind of light duty uh, service. Now obviously what I'm gonna be doing is very light duty. Um, I mean, told my junk around most of it wasn't even motors when we're buying it and stuff. The heaviest car I have is probably 3,500 pounds, like a Tri 5 Chevy. You tow it from the backside, doesn't weigh nothing. So, when I got this thing, it was extra cheap. I sold the winch off it, so I have zero dollars into it. The only thing I have to do it now is going to be steel. Now, I bought a heavy duty winch, it was on sale, 13,000 pounds, way more than I need, but it was like 500 bucks, wireless. We got a bunch of miscellaneous steel. Uh, a lot of this stuff I'll probably just keep around anyways. Now, the problem when I got this thing was, it's a sling setup, obviously. I have the sling, but the A-frame that joins it at the bottom was missing. So I have to make that. The other thing is, someone had shortened this thing at some point. Now, my buddy Mike had a really good idea, because the frame is supposed to be longer on this thing, and then typically tow trucks with, uh, like a, with a body on them, you lose the bumpers, 
and you'll end up running the A-frame section off down here. So we're gonna run a little higher. We'll see how that works. And he had an idea. We'll use receiver hitch stuff, and then it's gonna be removable. So I got the body back a little bit. Basically, we're gonna weld onto that, make it straight in both sides, They're the trim, the right length, so that's good. We'll be able to take these right out with the A-frame, and the idea is this will actually be level, or in line with the back of the bed, so I can put the tailgate back on, shunk, when it's not uh, completely in use. So we have all the stuff we need to make it happen. I think the only stuff I'm gonna be missing is how we're gonna anchor it down to the truck yet. So right now we're focusing on getting the record body back in service, winch on, the A-frame going, the sling hung, cable, all that sort of stuff, and should be good. So I'm gonna get started on this, and we'll kind of go step by step. I've used tow trucks before, but I've never built one. So essentially, true that up. Now it's not quite gonna line up. We're gonna I'll just get it tacked, and then I'll be uh, boxing and plating and all this stuff after. So we gotta get underneath it and all sorts of ugliness. But for right now, let's get working. Well, you know what the best part? Weld them together and you don't really know what you're doing. There's no wrong way of doing it. So we have our receiver hitches welded. I just tacked them on the top and I welded as much as I could on the bottom. This will have to be flipped upside down or lifted and welded properly and obviously all plated and whatnot, but that's fine for now. I put a little cross brace in just to keep it all square. This is my setup here for what the A-arms are gonna kind of flex on. We got a big honk and bolt between two receiver hitches. These are all on sale, they're like 10 bucks each. So it worked out great. Can't even buy the metal for that. And then this will be able to obviously slide out is my genius plan. Now I'm working on this side, I'm probably gonna do the same on the other. This is five foot long of two and a half quarter wall, which kind of roughly fits on a receiver hitch, you gotta grind a little bit because of the weld. And uh, so obviously we're gonna get on as much as we can, weld it solid the whole way around, maybe you put a plug weld on, we'll see how crazy I get. And then after, so the, let's say it goes to about there, we'll have to do some measuring with the uh, receiver hitch, if I pie cut it, I can scoot it over and it'll be right in the middle. So it'll be a triangle. And in the center of the triangle, we'll have another one of these. And that's what will attach to the bottom of the sling in theory. So I still got a bunch of screwing around yet to do. Um, I got to actually gotcha, run out and get some cars and do a bunch of screwing around. But I think I'm going to get the other one on. And I don't know about the length of these there. So that's where I'm. Doing a little research. I assume you probably want it straight down as much as you possibly can. So probably have to shorten it a you know foot or so and we'll go from there. Oh, we'll go from there. Another new day, even though it looks gloomy and cloudy out, it's like five o'clock, just got home from work. But we're gonna jam on this thing until I think the record body is done. And then on the next video, we'll uh, mount it down and maybe paint it and maybe try and use it. We'll see what happens. Super windy out, hopefully the microphone's doing its thing. So, where we left it, I don't know where we left it, but it's all kind of together. I had this bucket under there to kind of simulate the actual height. We're on a, the truck is high and we're on a slope, so it's not quite accurate the way it would actually look, but uh, here's what we got going on. So we have our little pivot piece there. Everything's all well together. I got the winch in. I think I did actually, I did that in the dark last night. So we got that all dialed together. I got a cord and wireless so I can use it like that that's pretty sweet um, I got some new hardware to put in all the little pulleys all the bolts and stuff like that just so it's all new um, I went and got some steel because again we're six inches too narrow so three inches on each side so I got some Horkin three inch quarter wall which we're gonna end up welding uh, to the side of this uh, this is three inch uh, like channel so if I clean it up real good Put up the side, weld it top. I'll probably have to lift up somehow and get to the bottom, but that'll be real sturdy. It ain't going nowhere, which I like. I, I enjoy overbuilding things. I mean, you need an end of the world tow truck, obviously, it should be overbuilt. So, unfortunately, price of steel is not going down. But this thing is all dialed together now, so I'm gonna do a heck of a lot of welding. Go check this out. So, that's kind of like ride height, you know, you want it, you know no positive angle so it'll be negative it'll be off the ground nice whatever that'll be four or five six eight ten inches two foot so that's all good we have our receivers so it'll come and go everything is all grade eight one inch hardware so it's that's stout 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld all these joints together. This I might plate with some angle just to be extra safe. Again, we got to go all the way around here, both sides. The receiver, you know, I got to weld all in there underneath, just go absolutely ham. We've got this, so I put quarter angle and then I put another piece of quarter inch flat under where that's going to be. I don't know how much load will be on there, but I thought half inch with the steel would be good. And uh, yeah, everything else is pretty much dialed together. This is quite a task. And then we got to drill a couple holes, put the pins in there, and then clean the junk out of the truck, grind the edge down, and put those that square tube on. What I'm probably going to do as well when I, when I do it, I'm going to do it in sections. I'm going to leave these tabs because I might actually want to bolt it to the bed just uh, through the sheet metal. Not that's going to be low, but it'll cause it, it'll stop it from hopefully twisting. Because even if you have that thing right tight to the frame rails and all, it's still going to kind of move around a little. So, let's set the camera up and do a pile of welding. Hopefully I have enough battery life and the camera's going to get too hot and shut off because that's how much it's going to be. That has been a lot of welding. Now, welding is all the same whether it's sheet metal or whatever. You're just, you can feel more heat, you can feel more wire, you can feel more expensive gas going out the thing, but uh, it is what it is. So, we got it all kind of dialed together. I just laid the, the winch. I, I put a fair bit of weld on that, but I don't want that coming off. That's probably the most important unit. I mean, uh, well, whatever. I, everything's pretty important there. We got that all dialed. Everything's all welded, braced. It could be a little prettier. I'm finding out if I should put a piece across here. I don't think it needs it, but we'll see. Top, bottom, left, right, up, down. It's it's welded, went in hot, everything's good. Now here's my thoughts for how we're gonna anchor this thing down. Uh, it's, it's shifted over, but the frame rail is, is right here. So we gotta move it over the whole unit, three inches. You can see it's, uh, we'll just look at the, to the wheel tub. We're over the passenger side, but Here's what I got. So this is three by three, which I actually could have got some. I might have some two and a half, you know, put it there now that I think about it. But uh, we're going to put it right up beside this, uh, this channel because it'll fit in there. Oh, of course, two hands would be handy, but it'll fit in there nicely and be nice and flat, nice, nice bevel to weld in. So I can do that front and back there. Weld across the top, I'll weld into these pads as well, which I think if I weld in the pads, if I weld top, front, and back, I could weld underneath, but I don't think I will. Same thing there, and then I might get some, just some of that two and a half, I think I have some left over, now that I look at it. Oh, uh, maybe not, maybe I use it all. Shoot. Anyway, well, whatever, well, the three will be fine, but we'll get that across, and what that'll do is now, even though the, the actual crane section or the wrecker section should be on the inside of the frame. This section will be on the outside or all right on top, I should say. I'm going to put a plate over top, some angle, all three on both sides, and anchor it down to the frame. Now, obviously, we're going to have to make some spacers and stuff like that. 
There's still a lot of work ahead of us, but I should be able to get this weld tonight. It's got about an hour of daylight. So we might do a little bit of time lapsing in the night. I might have to show you tomorrow the whole thing working. And then uh, once you get that, that's a few little pins here and there. And then a pile of work to anchor it down because I'm going to use half inch all thread and angle to two inch or two and a half, whatever I got there, angle as a plate on top and bottom. So to go right into the frame, the frame is quite thick. These, uh, this year was a good year apparently, or a couple of years for the big honk and frames. So put it all together, anchor it down. And I think I'm going to do at least three, if not four clamps per side. So I know I'm overbuilding this. If you haven't already told me in the comments yet, feel free to, but I really feel as though when you're towing, You'd rather have it a little bit too overbuilt than underbuilt. The truck can handle it, the record can handle it. We'll get some good honking chains. We gotta get, I gotta get a weld some stuff for safety chains. That's all coming down, but uh, let's just get back to the fun stuff. So I'll do a little bit more trimming and we'll get this kind of welded up. Man, <sighs> it's been a lot of welding. Another day of tow truck stuff. So I've been working kind of on and off, just got back from work. I did a bunch of work last night. It's, this getting dark early is such a hassle. I made a few changes. Today, I flipped around the sling. I guess I had it wrong, so now it's all rubber out and everything's welded and braced. I don't even remember what I did yesterday, but we got all that taken care of. All the pins have been replaced, the uh, pulleys, everything's all kind of taken care of. Um, I, oh, I weld, this is where I left I welded on this 3x3, three three, which works out great, except I found it today because I was just going to start anchoring it down. So this is where we're going to leave it for today, and I'm, I'm beaten. But uh, I'm going to run these, uh, quarter wall angle, top and bottom of the frame, sandwich it down. This is sitting right on top of the frame. The problem is right at the middle of the wheel wells, the frame goes just a little bit wider. So the 3x3 three three becomes half on the frame and half not. So I did weld on some angle which maybe isn't exactly perfect. I can always brace it if I need. And then at the very front, it becomes wide again. So we should be all dialed together. Did we run it up and down yesterday? I don't remember what we did there. It's been a lot of welding. Danny has no uh, whatever, but we got the winch all dialed. Come on, that's impressive. So this thing should work just fine. We're on a bit of a funny angle. We're on a low spot here versus where the truck is. So it'll actually be further out. We should be able to load up all the 55 Chevys and carry on. So I have to drill some pins because this is still kind of, well, it's all weight on it, but removable technically. And uh, it should be good. I'm thinking I'll be able to just kind of tuck this all into the bed because if you go too much, the winch will actually lift the boom up. And that will, because lifting this is heavy. And uh, some days you don't always want it to be a tow truck. So if you go up here, it'll get jammed up in the boom. It'll lift itself right up. Then obviously it'll over center, chunk, it'll fall in there. And then we can put it all back down. So life's pretty good. I think it'll work. I'm hoping it'll work. Truck's strong enough. I know I put a heck of a lot of steel and the amount of weld I put in this thing has been ludicrous. So. I don't know, like an end of the world rig. I still want, so I get this done, I want to put a plow on this thing. This is going to be a force to be reckoned with out there. And yeah, so next video, that's running this one. Um, next video will be paint the thing, because that's going to be a big ordeal. Have it finished locked down, 
and try and lift up maybe a 57 Chevy and see if it'll do it or if it breaks and folds in half and uh, it's a big old fail. But uh, with the amount of steel in it, I think it's got to be fine. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below and uh, leave a comment. If you're a tow truck guy, let me know. I think it's mint.